Oh, you gotta just love this. You go out to the grocery store, you come back, and you see FedEx has brought you a package. Let's see what it is. It's my patio set. So I guess we know what I'm putting together today. So let me go ahead and put all this together, get it into the patio, and then I can show it to you. I don't think I've shown you my patio before. I've been working on that along with everything else in the house. So let's get to work. All right, so here we go. We got the patio furniture built. I'll show you my patio. Got a flat screen TV. I enclosed my patio because there's a lot of dust and bugs around here, so to keep them out. And uh, that's the infrared sauna. And this over here is the hot tub. I'm actually going to turn this off so it makes it a little bit less noisy in here right now. Right now. Close this up. So this is uh, the patio furniture. It came out really nice. Took me, uh, I don't know, about 45 minutes to put together. Kind of needed some places to sit out here. Actually, I didn't really need to show you my patio. I actually just wanted to do a little bit of review on the startboard over here. That's really the reason for the video. Turn on the There's body camera. Uh, this here is a Dart Star Spectrum made by Metalist. And um, this is the kind of dartboard machine that you'd find in your local bar or pool hall. Pool hall. And uh, it was actually. I think made in the mid 90s and I purchased this uh, a few weeks back because I wanted to get a new dartboard I actually have an electronic one out in my garage but it's getting kind of old and I was going just to purchase an electronic dartboard that you hang on the wall and those can range anywhere between like 25 bucks up to 75 dollars but a lot of them are quite cheap and then the nicer ones that have more games those go up to about 150 to 200. You can purchase one from Arachnid that actually uh, has a cabinet that comes along with the dartboard, but it's just a, like a plywood type cabinet. It doesn't light up. It's not electronic as far as the cabinet goes. It's just a kind of a cabinet to hang your electronic dartboard in. So I was looking for something a little bit nicer, and since the prices were around the $200 range, I decided to look for some used professional dartboards. I guess you'd call these professional dartboards. And you can get some that are made by Arachnid, by Cougar, and by Metalus or Spectrum. I'm not sure. I guess it's Metalus, I guess is the name of the company. And so I found this one here. You can actually get a machine like this ranging anywhere between $350 to a high $500. And that's it. Uh, comes with a lot of games, comes with uh, the cricket and league cricket and concentration cricket and hide cricket. There's a whole bunch of different games that they have. Uh, there's a pool game, there's a bowling, there's the 701, 501, 301. Uh, there's this game called Splat. I have no idea what that one is. Eagle Eye, Master Half It. Uh, there's just tons of games that come on this and it's got sound it keeps score uh, Yeah, it does take quarters, but I got the keys, so I just open up the The key box there and hit a bunch of credits Here's the uh, bowling one, which is kind of cool You throw certain darts for a strike or a spare and stuff like that. It's really cool So I think for an investment of 350 to 400 I actually paid 400 for this that was having it brought to my house and it came with a bunch of darts and stuff. So I think for $400, I think it's pretty nice. I don't know so much that it belongs in this room because this room's kind of with the sauna and the hot tub and the palm trees and stuff. It's supposed to be more like a resort, but I didn't have any other place to put it. So I put a bunch of plants around it so it can kind of blend in with the room. So if you're looking to get a dart board, Yes, the electronic ones you hang up on the wall are just fine, but if you pay just a little bit more, 
you can have a nicer one like this. It's made out of a... Uh, what's this made out of? It's like a hard plastic. It's not like a plastic that's going to break, though. It's some other kind of hard form plastic. It's really nice. It does make sound and stuff. I just haven't put any quarters in, but when you're actually playing the game, it has sound. Now, you can get one that's a little bit more expensive. It's around like $800. It has a flat screen LCD that has the graphics are better because, again, this one was made in the 90s. The next upgraded one was probably made in the 2000s. So. But you can buy upgraded chips for this. They're going to range between $20 to $50. I haven't purchased them, and I don't know if I will because I really don't need to because this comes with plenty of games, and the graphics are just fine. I don't have a problem with it. If you have any questions or comments regarding the Dart Star, please leave them down below. Look for my other videos that I'm going to be posting up. I'm going to eventually going to do one on my diner room. I know you guys have seen pictures of it before already, but I'm still working on that darn Coca-Cola uh, cabinet to hold all my gaming equipment. It's really all done. I just have to paint it, but I, I'm a terrible painter. I literally have ADD when it comes to painting. I, I paint for literally one minute and I have to stop. So that'll be coming out. Who knows when? I might have to end up paying somebody to paint the dang thing because I can't do it. But there's that. And there we go. So I shall talk to you guys later. Have a good day.